up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So, you are working with the SD2 Vita and you want to set up your memory card so that it can be compatible for the SD2 Vita. Also, this tutorial will show you how to avoid the corrupt files once you have the micro SD card as your main memory. I know I have been receiving a lot of requests that they've been getting corrupt files. So, I'm going to create the whole tutorial. Now, for the previous tutorials, you would need to have your micro SD card as EX fat in order for those tutorials to work. So, with this one, we'll go through the whole process. And then, if you need to reference back to the other tutorials, then you can follow the whole sequence. We will need the Win32 Disk Imager and TCC Blank Image. I will leave that link in the description so you can go ahead and go get it. So, just remember. If you have Handcord installed and you run Vita Shell, back up your UXO files to the PC because we will need them. So once we back up our files, then we will format our micro SD card with Windows 32 Disk Imager and we will use the file CCC blank image. We begin with inserting our micro SD card to the PC. Now you guys can see that this SD card is on FAT32. Now FAT32 will not work. So we run disk imager once we have installed it and our drive currently is E. So we select the folder option and then we're going to look for our CCC blank image file and we select it and we select open. Okay, so now we just select write. It's gonna give us a prompt that everything will be formatted and we select yes. Okay write successful that's all we need there now we will take out the micro SD card from the PC and then plug it back in okay so now it'll give us a prompt to format disk we select format disk now the file system we select EXFAT and allocation size we will select default allocation size and then we select start and then it'll tell us it'll format the micro SD card and then we select yes format format complete and we select OK so that's all we need to do that is the first step that we have to do so that our micro SD card can be compatible so now I'm going to insert it to my PlayStation Vita okay so now I'm going to launch the TF card plugin tool and I'm going to first select the UMAO memory card equals UXO and I'm going to select circle and then circle again and then it's going to restart the system as you guys saw it on the previous video and then I gotta install handcore okay so if I go to Vita shell you guys will see that my micro SD card is on UMAO which is pretty cool you know I have extra space the external storage now UXO is still my PS Vita memory card. So now I'm going to launch our tool so that we can set it up as UXO. So SD2 Vita equals UXO and memory card UMAO. So really important guys, this will reboot the system. So remember, have your files backed up to the PC. I'll install Hancore. And now if I run Vita Shell, it'll tell me the file is corrupt. If I run the tool, it'll say that it's corrupted. Now, even if I run Hencore, it'll say that the file is corrupted. Now, this is the importance of backing up our files to the PC. So I'm going to connect the PlayStation Vita via USB to the PC. Okay, so now that is connecting, I go to my PC. And here we're going to use either PSV image tools from Silica and Pina or Mr. Gindini. But I will use the PSV image tools and I'm going to select easy installers and I'm going to install Vita Shell. Okay, and then I will select my profile, which is grdl at gmail. Okay, so we select choose account and then it'll do its magic. And now we're going to select the CM backup option, or in this case, you can use 
Mr. Gindini's EC front end. We choose account, we select our CM backup and install it. We get the prompt, we select yes for the save data. It works its magic and we select OK. And remember to also refresh the database from QCMA so that the PlayStation Vita can detect it. Okay, so now that we have refreshed the database, we move on to the PlayStation Vita and we're going to connect with Content Manager. So we select Copy Content and then we're going to go from the PC to the PS Vita system, Applications, PS Vita, and we have Vita Shell and Hencor. Okay, so now I'm going to replace them because I already have them installed, but they got corrupted somehow. So once they have been transferred to the PlayStation Vita, then we just close the content manager and we will go and run Hencore. Okay, so we're running Hencore, so we select exit. Now we have access to Vita Shell. So now at this moment you can either update with inserting the VPK and going to the Flow's GitHub. But you guys can see that UXO it's 16 gigs now or 14, 15 we can say. So now we have our UXO as main memory the SD card but we still get file is corrupted now if we select other games it's also going to say that the file has been corrupted this is where we highlight the importance of the files that need to be backed up to the PC so that you can just transfer them so we will launch Vita Shell once more and now you press start and for USB device, select SD2 Vita. Now, once we have press select, now within the PC, I have my backed up files ready to go. So I'm going to connect my PlayStation Vita since it's already connected. So now I get my folders from my SD card. So now I have everything ready. So I'm going to copy my backed up files and then I'm going to paste. So we just let it ride to copy all the files depending on what you have it might take longer and I'm going to replace whatever files I have in my micro SD card because now it's UXO so we're just mirroring what we used to have to now what the SD card will have as a UXO. We move on back to the PlayStation Vita. Okay you guys can see that my UXO now it has less size because I copied everything so if you have a bigger card then you will have more space of course so now I'm going to turn off the PlayStation Vita install Handcore and now let's try the tools or all the information that I had look at that guys it's working this will fix the corrupt file option I know that I've created the other two tutorials but it is really important to have your memory card as EXFAT and use the tool so that you can format the memory card. You guys can see that everything is working. So now I just wanted to go to settings and show you what version I am in. So system information 3.68 capacity 14 gigabytes which is pretty cool so if this worked let me know in the comments hit like subscribe comment share with your friends as always gamer rebirth out